my name is Megan Donlinger and I'm here with ESG and today we're going to go through the Ignite ACD client. To log into your Ignite client, you'll want to find the icon of the little blue flame like we see at the bottom of the screen. And at that time, click on it to bring open the login page. You'll then need to log in to the client with your credentials that would be provided by your system administrator and then click on log in. At that time, it's going to retrieve all the permissions that are specific to you as an agent. Once the Ignite client has opened, you'll see the agent sidebar like we see here. And we're going to start with just an overview of the sidebar from top to bottom. At the very top of your Ignite client, you'll see the agent state indication color. Right now we see that color as green, which lets us know that the agent is currently idle. Another color that you may see here on your Ignite client is red, and that would let you know that the agent at that time is handling some form of ACD media. That could be a voice call, a chat, or an email. If you have put yourself into a make busy state from your client, you will then see that color change to yellow. And lastly, if you are a voice agent, you may see a blue color, which would indicate that at that time you are handling a non-ACD call. So that could be an internal extension to extension call or a call directly to the agent from the outside world. Right below the indicator color is the timer. That's going to keep track of how long the agent has been in that state. So right now we see that the timer is set at one minute and counting, which lets us know that the agent has been idle for that period of time. Every time the agent's state changes, the color and that timer will reset. Right below your indicators are your agent group presence options. And from here, I can change the state or the presence to the various ACD agent groups that I'm a part of. To access the menu, I click on the icon. And then at that time, I can just check or uncheck the various agent groups that I need to be a part of. So as an example, if I no longer needed to take chat ACD. I unselect the chat group and from the bottom of the menu click on apply. Right below your agent group presence is make busy and make busy is the option that lets the system know that you're not available to take any ACD media. So no matter what groups you are a part of at that time when you're in a make busy state the system knows not to send you any chats, calls, or emails. To set your Make Busy, click on the icon, and from the menu that appears, select the reason code that applies to what you're doing at that time, and then select Apply from the very bottom of the screen. If I do need to turn off my Make Busy from my client, I click on the menu again, and from the very bottom can choose Remove for Make Busy. Another option would be if you do need to change your Make Busy reason without going back into the queues, you just select another reason code and click on Apply. Moving down the toolbar from there, you'll see your ACD agent statistics. These are real-time statistics that can be customized by every ACD agent. Below that is the settings menu. And then lastly, we have our exit or sign out of the application option. The next thing that we're going to do is go over how an ACD agent can customize their settings. To customize your client settings, click on the wrench from the agent sidebar and the settings menu will appear. The first tab you see across the top is for general settings. I would recommend that if you are using the My Collab client in addition to the Ignite client, that you have the circle checked to launch My Collab if it's not already open. And then below that, you've got Expand Ignite when a multimedia item is accepted. This really only applies if you are a multimedia agent for chat or email. So if you're not, you could certainly uncheck that option. Below that is Expand Ignite when a voice item is accepted. So that'll take the Ignite client from the sidebar view to a full screen view. This is really more personal preference. Collapse Ignite on startup will, once you've logged in to the client, go right to that sidebar view rather than being full screen. And I usually recommend that you do set this to yes. And lastly, Collapse Ignite when the inbox is emptied. I would also set this to yes, so once you're done handling ACD media, it goes to that more streamlined view. 
The next tab at the top is the sidebar statistics. These are these three statistics we talked about earlier that are specific to the agent and are real time for that day. You can only have three sidebar stats at a time, so if you do want to make changes, you need to uncheck one option so that the others will become available to you. Once you have customized the three sidebar statistics you would like to view, then you can click on apply to apply those changes. And then the last option you have for your settings is your queue selection. And underneath the individual queues, you can check or uncheck the various queues that appear there, and this will allow you from the inbox to see real-time statistics like how many agents are currently available, how many calls are currently waiting, and how long has the longest uh, call been waiting at that time. Once you make your changes, again, you would then click on Apply from the bottom of your screen. Next up, we're going to go through the real-time monitor options within your Ignite client. Within the Ignite client, there are real-time viewing options for the agent, and to access those, you're going to click on the left arrow to go into full screen mode, and then at the very top of the screen, you'll select real-time monitor. Starting all the way on the left-hand side, we've got the option for a queue group. And what a queue group does is it lumps multiple queues together for statistical purposes. So if I wanted to see all of my queues at one time, I could look at the all queues option and I would see for all queues, we currently have three agents available, seven calls have been offered, seven have been handled, interflowed, abandons, and requeues are all set to zeros. And these are real-time statistics for today. The next option over across the top is individual queues. So at this point, you would be viewing the real-time statistics for individual queues at one time, and you can set as many of them here as you'd like just by selecting them from the right-hand panel. And the statistics that you'll see from the queue option are contacts waiting, so how many people are sitting in queue waiting to be helped. Of those, how long has the longest person been waiting? How many calls, chats, or emails have been offered today? And also how many have been handled? And ideally, you would see these statistics set to the same number. Then you have options for interflows, which means they may have dialed out of queue or selected an option while waiting. Abandon would mean that they had given up, so they were sitting in queue, they were not handled in an appropriate amount of time, and at that time they hung up or exited the chat or email. And then we have our service level and our abandoned percentage, and then the requeued. And requeued means the caller was sitting in queue, they were presented to an agent that did not answer, so at that point they were sent back to the beginning of the line. Next, we have the agent group statistics. And again, you can set as many agent groups in this view as you like just by selecting them from the right-hand side. And the statistics you'll see from an agent group are how many agents are currently handling ACD media, voice calls, chats, or emails, how many are handling non-ACD calls, how many are currently in Make Busy, DND, which doesn't often apply to ACD agents, so often you'll see that it's zero, and lastly, how many currently have people on hold. You can also view the real-time statistics of individual agents, and that can be for yourself as well as the other agents that you work with, just selecting them again from that right-hand panel. And the statistics that you'll see on an individual agent basis are an individual ACD count. So for, in this case, Paula, how many ACD calls has she handled today? then a non-ACD count, which would be for internal or direct calls to the agent, ACD handling time, so of her six calls in total, they took four minutes and 59 seconds, and then her average handling time, letting us know about how long our calls, chats, or emails are taking, our outbound count, so calls made to other extensions or outside of the system, and our outbound duration. From the agent view, you'll also see our color indicators, just like we had from our sidebar. So again, if we're in yellow, they're in Make Busy. Blue is a non-ACD call. Red would be handling ACD media. And green would be idle. The last option you have for the real-time monitor is the employee. 
And from the employee view, it would lump together all forms of ACD media that that particular agent or employee takes part in. So you'll see there is an icon for voice as well as chat and email. And at this point, it's really just keeping track of totals. And then we also see our color indicator as well as a little bit more information, letting us know how long they've been in that state. And if they were in a make busy state, it also includes the reason code that they've currently applied. Next, we're going to go into ACD call handling options. From within your ACD Ignite client, you do have some call handling options. So when you're receiving a call to the ACD queue, you'll get a screen pop in the top right corner like we see here, and I can click on accept. I could also accept or answer that call using the handset or headset of my phone. Once you've accepted that call, you'll see that the Ignite client goes into full screen mode. And from the bottom right corner, I have a few handling options like transfer, hold, and hang up. Transfer would allow me to transfer from Ignite to another ACD agent or to another ACD queue. I can always use the dial pad and the transfer option on my phone as well. Hold places that caller on hold, and then to bring them back live, I would click on the remove hold icon. The last option you have from the right corner of the screen is to hang up or end that call. While you're on an ACD call, you'll also see a couple of new options along the sidebar. The first one here is for setting an account code. And what an account code does is it's going to classify what type of call you're handling at that time. To apply an account code, click on the icon, and then from the list, select the reason or uh, classification that makes sense for the call that you're handling. And then at the bottom, click on apply. You can apply multiple account codes during a call. The last icon you see here is for request help, and this allows an agent to request help to a supervisor if there should be a need during an ACD call. The next thing that we'll go through today is how to handle chat within your Ignite client. If you're a multimedia agent and you're part of a chat agent group, you will handle all of your chat to the queue from the Ignite client. When you're receiving a new chat from the queue, you'll get a pop-up in the top right corner of your screen, like we see here. It indicates who it came from as well as the subject of the chat. Now that pop-up only stays for a few seconds, so if you don't accept from the screen, it will then put that into your inbox. You'll see it put the agent into a busy state. And now if I expand into full screen mode, I do have the option to accept that chat at that time. Once I have accepted the chat, the screen here on the right-hand side will update. And this is where I'm going to chat back and forth with that customer from your website. As I type, the customer will receive information about what I am typing and letting them know that I'm responding. And when the customer is typing, I would receive that notification in my screen as well. So you know that that conversation is still active. From the bottom portion of the chat screen, you have some standard uh, customization options like bold and underline. You can format things, you can use bullet points if needed. And if we're going to click on the little magnifying glass over here to the right, I can also select canned responses that can be built by the system administrator on the server, and then they would appear here for the agent to use click on the arrow to apply them, and then click on enter to send that chat to the customer. The customer can always end the chat conversation from the far end and the agent will receive notification. Or if I need to end the chat myself, I can do so by clicking on the X from the bottom right corner of the screen. Are you sure you want to end that chat? Click on the check mark for yes. And then that's going to put that agent back into an idle state, making them available for further chats. That there is everything you need to know about the Ignite client for ACD handling. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.